In today's episode of turning my own personal pain into content, we bring you Ken, the MacBook Air M3 16 gigabyte computer run a professional content creation YouTube channel. Didn't want to make this video, but the motherboard died on my $6,000 MacBook and I'm leaving the country tomorrow, so I needed something absolutely right now while they fix the old one. Now, I'm not sure if this can handle, uh, you know, shooting content on the go. Basically most of my stuff is like two shot things, but we're gonna be vlogging a lot of it, going to Ireland with my friend Claire, and then off to Chicago for a summit meeting with Sure Microphones, and then going to Canada to shoot some content with my buddy Samurai Guitar. So this is gonna be the main driver along for the ride. $14.99 plus tax is this guy. We're gonna see uh, if it can handle basically just a bunch of HD footage. I'm gonna maybe do some comparisons in 4K and 1080. Honestly, I'm a YouTuber, so 1080 is fine. That's probably what I'm gonna be trying to edit, but I'll do some tests and stuff too. And uh, aside from just benchmarks and all that stuff, I'm not your guy. I'm not your guy to give you benchmark comparisons and all that, but I will give you the experience of editing professionally with uh, with the MacBook Air and how it's different compared to a loaded 2022 MacBook Pro 16 inch. So stay tuned as we see if this gets the job done or if it's gonna kill me. Because I tried to borrow a buddy's 2019 Intel i9 loaded MacBook Pro to see if I could just like do some simple basic editing in Final Cut Pro. And I almost killed myself trying to deal with that because it was so slow and this the wheel kept spinning and I was gonna lose my mind and I have to be editing on the road. So we'll see how it holds up. Okay, two months into the future, I have been traveling internationally with this thing as my main computer. And then I got back and I had this one repaired. So this is kind of a comp between these two. And that's why I think it's kind of interesting because this is the M1 Max. Uh, this one's maxed out. 64 gigs. I paid well over four times what I paid for this like two years ago, right? So this is really just the M1 loaded max versus kind of the, the M3 Air. And again, this is 16 gigs versus 64 gigs. So I wanna talk about the negatives that I experienced with this first. Uh, as you can imagine, the speakers on this are really trash, okay? Now, it, this is somewhat to be expected just because like, look how small it is. These speakers somehow are worse than the ones on the iPhone, right? Uh, again, to be expected to a certain extent, but uh, the, the speakers have no power. So most of the time I'm using like AirPods or headphones or something with this anyways. So that's probably like the number one downside of this, I suppose. And then of course the thing with MacBook Airs forever is uh, the lack of ports, right? You just kind of have the two USB-C ports uh, the biggest thing for me would be to get one of these. This is just a dongle that you can put an SD card in, right? I was able to ride dirty without that because one thing you can do is like, if you have that camera that everybody has, the DJI Pocket Osmo, or really pretty much any other camera, usually you can run a USB-C cable out from your camera while your memory card is in it to get it into the uh, MacBook Air. So I was doing that when I was on the road anyway and then kind of just doing that and just air dropping stuff from my iPhone to the air. And that worked pretty well. Uh, I will say the transfer rate for just going through like a USB-C cable from the phone, from the memory card, there's, this one's definitely faster, right? As far as using the two main programs that I use more than anything else are Final Cut Pro and then Logic Pro. I uh, also did some videos with PreSonus and some other DAWs, kind of just like check it out. From a performance standpoint, eh, I cannot tell a difference between these two, which is funny. I don't know if I'm upset about that because I paid over $6,000 for this really only two years ago, but that's just how fast technology moves these days as far as like being able to crunch stuff. 1080, 4K, whatever no discernible difference other than uploading footage into Final Cut. I did feel like this was faster, but this by no means was slow. From a pure audio production standpoint, no problems at all. Ran several sessions, not the least of which was recording a band in a shower live. Uh, never had any issues, no slowdown. Ran a bunch of plugins through it, uh, but yeah, basically full recording and mix sessions were not a problem at all. So for $1,500, 
This is an incredible buy. I have no doubt that I could run my entire business as a full-time content creator using a MacBook Air. Uh, the benefits, are, like this is so slim. So this is like a, just a, a tablet, an iPad. It honestly seems kind of like the same size as this. So this is such a great computer. Now I do find that if I'm doing something like a longer edit, I'll still use this just because again, if I'm just chilling, I don't wanna have headphones in. The speakers on the, the MacBook Pro are fantastic, phenomenal. Also, the screen is so much bigger and like better on this one. And I have the SD card reader and I have the other peripherals and stuff like that. So I still kind of think of this as more of like my daily workhorse for stuff like that. But again, I worked almost exclusively on this the entire time I was on the road and then really for like the last two months. So I, I am giving this my 100% full endorsement and it's just i don't know there's just something about it like the just the build quality on this is awesome it feels good super fast uh never had any issues i think it crashed on me one time when i was like trying to get it to crash i was doing like a bunch of different things on it at the same time but i wouldn't say that like like you know this crashes on me sometimes too like sometimes logic will just quit sometimes final cut quits that's more of a software problem in my estimation than an actual hardware problem i'm not so salty about it. i'm still salty that like my motherboard just like exploded like less than two years into like uh you know like a pretty top of the line computer also fun fact they called me on the way to the airport to tell me that this was done. So I didn't even really need to buy this. I probably would have had time to go figure it out, but the, the estimation, the, the time they said it would take to fix it. Anyways, that's a whole different different story. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you know my experiences with the uh, M3 Air and just thumbs up. If you're worried about it not being enough power to run like a full-fledged video, audio, whatever your, your creativity, you know, your, whatever your discipline has used. Also Photoshop, using Photoshop on this too. Never had an issue. This thing is amazing. 100% give my full endorsement. I would get the get the extra RAM to go 16 gigs instead of eight. Uh, but yeah, other than that, eh, probably dollar for dollar, it might be like the best thing that you buy. So anyways, thanks for watching. If you guys have any more questions or anything else you want me to do with this stuff, uh, let me know and then go watch some of the work that I did at this because I thought some of the vlog stuff was like really uh was really cool and uh and funny. So thanks for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.